Oh my god. The Hunter Quad. This is the legendary scooter, you guys. The Hunter Quad. Here you go. I think oh we just found god. our opener. Oh my god. Let goodness. me let me let me see that. Yo, Ricky, you got that on camera? I got it on, on camera. <laughs> Look at this All shit right. is huge. City skylines rotate. I'm on a road, got a flow, drive bys like high rises, my rise from top flow. I'm cruising on 42nd, do a stop at 11 GM. Yes, goes down 7th Ave to drop off direction. It's New York, I see the world in a few blocks. Sergeant potholes like stunt doubles up to a new stop. My PEV has me feeling alive and free. I ride with Anthony, now who wants to ride with me? Right, Hello everyone, me. welcome back with Riding with Anthony. Today is an exciting episode. We got Rick and finally joining us. What's good? And we got a special guest. So Yuri from Mini Motors NYC. Tell them where the store is at. Well, uh, we established our company uh, in uh, 2019, uh, in July. And uh, we used to be in Hoboken. Mm. You know, and uh, we were the first Mini Motors in uh, New York City. Okay. And we provide uh, sales of scooters, you know, upgrade parts and everything. Okay. Well, back then, Duotrons weren't... Every, everybody's Duotron looks the same. Yeah. There was no such thing as handlebar change, brakes, whatsoever. You okay. Know. Brought that in, startup culture. And uh, it's been for almost four years since. Okay. Nice. Which cool. is a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice achievement, cool. I guess. So you guys yeah. um, also repair, do modifications? Yes, yes we do. And, and, sh and shop scooters as well? Yes, we do. Cool. We, cool. we sell, okay. we service. Uh, basically, we do everything in-house. That mm -hmm. also includes our own uh, custom parts, like the uh, carbon fiber uh, column, okay. you know, and everything like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so we, we do stuff like that. Cool. Um, thank you for letting us know. But um, if you guys made this far with the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Any questions or concerns, please share that in the comment section below. Anything else, Rican? I miss y'all. It's been <laughs> a long time since I've seen y'all. It's good to be back. Make sure to write me some love. All right, cool. So let's continue on with the video. I just wanna ride, ride. <laughs> this is Batman shit if Batman decided not to paint and ride scooters. Like, for real, for real. <laughs> Look at this. This ah. shit is twice the size of my hand. Yeah. What so, Yuri, tell us, tell us about the scooter right here. All right, so uh, this is a Hunter Quad. Mm -hmm. uh, it has four motors. Okay. So, uh, it's half and half. So, there's two in front, two at the back. Uh, it has uh, four bricks, and that's why they gave the name Quad. So, oh. it's like... Like quattro, four, okay. you know. So uh, it comes with four shocks as well. Everything is four. I'm um, pretty sure this can bring up to four person as well. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything is four. How, anyway, many, right? how many controllers are we talking about? Four controllers. Four controllers. Yeah, yeah, four, four controllers. Four controllers. I don't know what. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So to make it perfect, I guess it can take up to four riders. Wow. Maybe. Yeah, wow. just a joke. But yeah, okay. so this this guy has uh so this guy comes in two variants. It has a fifty amp hour variant and okay. a seventy five amp hour variant. Wow. Runs on seventy two volts. Uh, brought it out one day. Uh, kind of tested it a little bit. Mm -hmm. It did bring me up to about seventy miles an hour, but it's still pulling. So I guess according to manufacturer, they say it should be able to go up to seventy five miles an hour, which I did not try. <laughs> <laughs> There's I mean, no roads in New York for me to try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, yeah. these are hydraulic brakes, right? Correct, hydraulic brakes, yep. Wow. Yep. Nah, and uh, yeah, so. Um, How much does a scooter weigh? Nah, this scooter weighs about 160 pounds. I'm gonna uh, cut that off real quick. Listen, this is the first scooter that we're not gonna do a, t a test on. A lift <laughs> test. We always do a lift test. Not today. Not <laughs> yeah, we usually um, pick up the scooter as <laughs> to like, test it out. Like, yeah, if you, you, you can do this. Yeah, if you want, I can bring it down for you. No, you wanna, I'm not doing it. You want to do it? I'll do it. I'm not doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help him. Help him. Yeah, that's all right. You got it? Yeah, I got it. He says he got it. He got it, Come on. Listen, you got fifth floor in the elevator. This is your training. Hold up, hold up. Wow! Jesus Christ, that's even bigger than I thought. Oh my God! The Hunter Quad. This is the legendary scooter, you guys. The Hunter Quad. Here you go. Oh we just found it. Oh let God. me let me let me see that. Yo, Rikin, you got that on camera? I got it on, on camera. <laughs> Look at this All shit right. is huge. Yuri, walk me walk me through this real quick. How will you lift it up? Because I want 
How would I live like together? Like I tell you, like I tell you. Show me like I tell you. Cause I live in a, everybody knows the story. I live in the fifth floor with no elevator. All right. So, All right, cool. Oh, what? That's it. All right, cool. Let me try that. All right. He <laughs> said, let me try that. Uh, Just watch your back. <laughs> yeah, I got this. So, Yuri, my story is I live in the fifth floor with no elevator. Mm -hmm. I ride the Duotron Eagle Pro. Right. And now we're riding the Apollo Phantom V3. All right, y'all. Right, oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> Ricky, you want to try this? <laughs> oh, God! Yeah. <laughs> Ricky, you wanna try this? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I'll try it. I'll try it. Alright, hold on. I'll try hold the handle for so I can get your camera. Alright. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is the most intimidating. No, Ricky's Ricky is gonna try it. Bro, it's almost my height. Get the fuck out of here. You know I definitely can't do this. Oh no. <laughs> I'm back now. I'm back now. You can sure give it a try. Alright, alright, alright. So you, you grab it all, right? like this. Yeah. yeah, from there, and then you grab it from right here, look. From here. Put the ball like this. <laughs> nah, brother. That's it. Bro. Hey, I wasn't joking. <laughs> How do you do that, bro? Uh, guys, that's. I guess that's a puts a whole game alone, right? <laughs> yeah, shit. Oh my god. Yeah. So this is the hunter quality, guys. Um, you said it, it goes. It goes to how many, how, how many miles again? I don't know. According to the manufacturer's specification, it says seventy-five miles an hour. But right. honestly speaking, nobody tried it before. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, it, it, yeah, it should go that fast. Cool. Yeah, I was pulling, so. Wow. So how much does the scooter go for right now? Uh, this uh, retails at ninety five ninety nine, but uh, right now this is my current last unit okay. in the whole of New York City. This is the this is the last unit, you guys. Yeah. This is the last yeah. unit. So whoever comes first, pick this up. I'm gonna give them eighty five hundred. Eighty five hundred. Big discount. Big discount. Right. Huge. Eight thousand five hundred dollars, you guys. The Hunter Quad. So, uh, the uh, the suspension comes from the Ex Exaform. That that is the uh, the brand of the suspension. Okay. Uh, this brand is actually pretty famous. Mm -hmm. They make a lot of uh, air shocks, especially back in the days, guys that rides uh, those um, E Move cruisers, uh, Speedway Five. Okay. They know about Exaform because that's the alternative to wow. uh, upgrading their their shocks, okay. basically. So these shocks, they are first of all they are they are good and they are not that pricey. Okay. So that meant uh, that makes maintenance really really low. Okay. And uh, they they don't break easy. Okay. They are made of aluminum. They don't rust. Yeah. Ooh. So uh, that's a good thing about the shocks like that. So mm -hmm. so it's good for all weather, especially right. if you want to go off roading and stuff like that. You definitely have no problems. And with the four hydraulic brakes down here, you get very good stable braking power yeah it's quad hydraulics right, right. Quad so hydraulics. what happens is that uh if you look at the conventional duotron or other other yeah. scooters it's either they have it one on the right side and one on the left side or both on the right side which is a very common setup mm -hmm. uh the problem with those brakes setup is that when you're on high speed and then you engage your brakes really really hard your scooter pulls oh to the left or to the right. Okay. And uh, that's also one of the reasons why uh, Duotron has this uh, very famous death, uh, death wobble, steering okay. wobble. The sand wobble, wobble uh, high uh, speed. Yeah, yeah. That, that's also because of that, because for Duotron, the brakes are on the rear, left, and then oh. front, right. So when you do hard braking, they don't pull even. Wow. So with this quad setup right here, when you brake, it goes straight. Yeah, yeah. like look, we can like, if you notice, Two brakes on each on each side. Yes. And also on the back, you guys. Look at that. On the back again, zoom hydraulic brakes. I, I just can't imagine how they freaking wire that thing together. You know. Uh, so basically, this there is a uh, there is a wire connection over here. Oh. So if you notice, there's one brake hose that goes into a reservoir over here. Okay. And the reservoir will provide the the fluid down to both brakes. Okay. okay. The concept is the same as a motorcycle. Mm. The only difference is this brakes. They do not have a top field reservoir, okay. so it may feel a little spongy, but they definitely work. Okay, wow, that's pretty impressive engineering right there. It's like a welder made this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So if you can look at the platform right there, yeah, it's that's mad space. Look at the space for you to move your feet around, you know, and guy, and, and it shifts you, you know. Yeah, yeah guys, you. Yeah. I am a size ten, mm -hmm. and 
Wow, my feet are comfortable. Correct. Wow. You can move it anywhere, honestly. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. And suspension is really, really soft. Yeah, the suspension is already soft. Yeah. Regan, you want to try it? Yeah, I do. All right, cool. All right, let's see. I'm excited. All right. Yeah, it's good for all weight. You can bounce on it if you want. There we go. That yeah. is so soft. Yeah. And you're right, like, you can move. Yeah. You ever seen, like, um, what do you call that? Like, those skateboards that are wide, not like Correct. a longboard? It's Correct. almost like that. Yeah. You can just move your feet anywhere. And, Correct. And by the way, Rikin and I, Rikin, you're left handed, correct? Uh, yeah. And I'm right handed. How do you feel? Because since you're left handed, right? right. It's perfect. Cool. I'm right handed. I'm old school, you know? Pretty cool. Of course, you got your standard alone, horn. This right here is not actually signal, it's more like a speed mode. Oh, so oh. left is uh, left is three. And then you go to center, that's speed mode two, oh. and that's speed mode one. Oh, so okay. if you engage all the way to the left, you're at the faster speed. This is actually the light button. Uh, for uh, they, they have they have a package for external lighting, okay. which we don't include in here because they don't. This is the base package. I see. Okay. Because uh, first of all, the, uh, the auxiliary package it's more expensive, so it's actually cheaper to put on external ports, mm -hmm. which is what we do here, which okay. is what we can recommend as well. And then this thing is uh, not exactly a horn. This is actually a cruise mode button. Press oh. it, press it once. It engages cruise mode. Oh, well, you don't have to count on your head or nothing no, like that. No, just okay. just press it one time. It engages cruise mode. Oh, nice. Yeah. Whatever you guys have here is what uh, we had back then uh, five years ago, right? So I'm from Singapore, mm -hmm. and uh, Singapore was the first country to start uh, a scooter trend. Okay. So back then we didn't have scooters like that. Back then it was those five-inch skateboard tires. Mm. Carbon fiber scooter, foldable scooter that oh, weighs like maybe say about 10 pounds, that goes maybe 5 miles. Wow. And what we did last time was we have that strap both to the back with one riding. When it runs out of battery, we'll swap one out. Oh. Right? And then slowly it became uh, the Speedway Mini and then it became the Speedway, which is similar to what you see on the E-Move Cruiser. Okay, okay. Same thing. So those were the very, very old, the very old models. Point. So when Duotron first came out, about 8. Oh, eight years ago, yeah, Dubotron one. It was a single motor Dubotron. Okay, yeah, that's how Singapore's uh, and 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 that's why Mini Motors they grew because of because of Singapore. Okay, almost everybody has a Dubotron. Wow, mm. because car is expensive, right? Know? Parking is expensive, gas is expensive. Nobody wants that. Really? Same same reason as why you get a scooter over here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. when Singapore banned scooters, and that's why I came here to pursue the the hobby. Yeah, uh, when Singapore banned scooters, that's where other countries starts to get the trend. the trend. So it starts out from uh, Europe, uh, in France. Okay. Uh, start out, uh, the nearest country that we that, that started out was in Malaysia and then uh, Australia. Okay. And then Russia. Russia was one of the biggest next, right after um, Sing uh, Singapore. Okay. And then after that, the USA. Wow, so you're saying the USA is the last one? Correct. And that's, why, the track. Yes. and that's why we, I, I seen it, you guys like, like these scooters, like I'm like, I'm like why are, are we still in like in, in for example, finger throttle, and why are we still like still detecting how to c control a cruise control, like counting on our heads and stuff yeah. like that? You know, back then, there was this thing called R&D, research and development, right? Yeah. Back in the days, scooters, they break easy. Yeah. They, mm -hmm. they, don't, they don't generally work. So what you guys have right now is actually top of the line already. Okay. It's already oh. been revamped over and over and over again, it's yeah. proven. Even though sometimes you still get some problems with scooters somewhere, yeah. but it's not as massive as what we used to have. Right. You know? It's a trial and error. Right. Yeah. 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 Redundancy. Correct. But that's why we're also like Correct. five plus years behind. Yeah, so yeah. we, we okay. used to modify our scooters a lot to the point that even manufacturers is eyeing on us. Okay. I see. Because they want to know what parts we use, what kind of a setup we use so that they can incorporate into their, their scooters. I right. see. So the Thunder 2 is actually one of the better example of how they did it. Okay. Yeah. I want people to leave a co uh, comment below. Uh, do you believe that it is good that the United States is actually behind with um, the PEV, scooters, scooter. with the PEVs, because of the trial and error, or would you have actually rather been the trial and error itself? Leave that in the comment section below. I want to talk about that with you guys. <laughs> wow, man! Look at that, you guys. Anthony, Planet Fitness has not done us any job. No. Jesus Christ. Oh, the the kickstand is on, by the way. Yes, sir. All right. Bring that up your staircase. Bring that up your staircase. I dare you, <laughs> Anthony. That's a challenge. 
I want, by yeah. the end of the year, five flights, no elevator. <laughs> Hunter Quad. Is Duotron the scooter to ride if you want if you want to be in the scooter game? Is Duotron is the top of the line? Yes, uh, I would say I agree to disagree as well. Mm -hmm. uh, honestly speaking, doesn't mean that I operate mini motors. I sell Duotrons. That means it's the best scooter in the world. Uh, there are other scooters out there that's good as well. But I will always tell people one thing is you pay for what you get. Okay. Mm -hmm. Reason why you want to buy something that is reliable, you want to buy something that is low on maintenance. You want to buy something with local support. Okay. Where you can get yourself fixed when you need one. Okay. Right? Most of the scooters out there, like um, Apollo, like um, E-Moves, uh -huh. you know. Apollo, E-Moves. Yeah, I, I, have, I have all kinds of scooters here as you can yeah. see, right? You repair, you re repair. Do you repair just Duotrons? No, or? I repair everything. Everything. I repair everything. He repairs everything, you guys. Yeah, so the only problem is if I do not sell your brand of scooters, I do not have the ports. Oh. And that is your nightmare because I can fix it for you but are you able to get ports? Okay. That's the question. That's the question. And most people, they think that, oh, that's a $3,000 scooter, that's a $2,000 scooter. Why should I spend on 3000 when I can get a 2000 one? Sure, fine by you. You do you. But that scooter might break down more often, and then you're gonna pay a lot more money fixing it because parts are never, uh, parts are never expensive. Wow. It's the labor that's expensive. The labor is expensive. And always think about that. Wow. Unless you fix your own stuff. Like, for example, give, us a, give an example of of um the freak the the, the most prepared all right come on oh. Oh, oh. Oh. so you notice all the scooters over here is on foreign week right okay yeah i've noticed right. that so you see this cabo over here cabo wolf warrior right so this guy has been here for six months six months all right Holy i'm sorry for you yeah. and of course you guys we have to end the video on a note this was part one, you guys, of a part two series of Mini Motors NYC. You guys, I want to thank you so much for Yuri for letting us to come to his shop in Mini Motors NYC. You guys, please, 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 if you guys are in New York City area around Chinatown, please visit his store if you're looking for parts for e-scooter parts repairs or even upgrading or shopping for an e-scooter again thank you so much yuri if you guys are wondering where his store is at the links are in the description part one you guys i basically saw the exotic hunter quad scooter let me know in the comment section if you guys think you can lift that thing up man anyways part two we're going to show you guys the blade gt the new scooter in the market you guys the blade gt is the new bad boy in the market we also going to show you guys more duotron scooters you guys anyways if you guys made this far with the video please subscribe to the channel if you guys want to take it a step even further please buy those stickers anyways you guys on to the next one with riding with anthony again this is part one stay tuned for part two.